In early 2021, WhatsApp announced that it would start collecting even more data for its advertisers. And since May 2021, the Messenger began disabling users who did not accept the new rules of the game. If you haven't either, there's a simple but super effective way. You can switch to the Telegram Messenger and even move all your chat history from WhatsApp. In this video, I'll tell you how to do it and break it down to a few simple steps. Welcome to the Teleblog channel. Starting May 15th, WhatsApp users have time to think about accepting new terms and conditions. To recap, the Messenger now reserves the right to share users' data with Facebook. This caused a big scandal online because it's fair to say that Zuckerberg's company was already collecting enough data about its users, but now they will get even more. So if you still haven't accepted the new terms and you don't want to do so, WhatsApp will eventually make it impossible for you to text and make calls. And I mean, these are the basic features. On a personal note, I'm sick of the personalized Facebook ads. Sometimes I feel like my smartphone's just eavesdropping and then advertises everything it hears. So all the more, it's great that Telegram offered its users an easy and simple transition from WhatsApp to its platform by moving the entire chat history literally in a few steps. How do you do that? I'll tell you all about it in a moment. And I'll point out that there are a couple of things that you should be aware of. In the meantime, subscribe to the channel, please, and give this video a thumbs up, so that more people learn there is a way out and that they don't have to accept the new game rules from WhatsApp. While WhatsApp is getting ready to disconnect all those who disagree to accept new terms and the Telegram team is tweeting what you should do with Zuckerberg's social network and messenger, I'll show you how to easily move data from WhatsApp to Telegram. On Android, open any of the chats that you want to move. Then, in the right corner of the screen, tap the three vertical dots, then select More, and then tap Export Chat button. And then you can choose Telegram in the shared menu. Next, let's move on to one crucial detail. To import the chat history with the person in the dialogue, you must be in each other's contact list, and only then the import can happen. Otherwise, Telegram will inform you that you must first add each other in the contacts. After you do that, Telegram will say that the chat has been successfully imported. Note that the chat will look the same as in WhatsApp, and the messages that were imported from WhatsApp to Telegram will be marked imported. One more essential thing worth remembering is you can transfer a personal chat only into a personal one, but at the same time it doesn't have to be the same contact as in WhatsApp. The main thing is that you must be in each other's contact list. The same thing goes about WhatsApp groups. On Android, before doing that, you just have to create a new group in Telegram or choose the one that the Messenger offers and then export the group. To import a group chat, you must be its administrator. If you create a new group to import chats, the owner becomes anonymous. Note that if a user is added to the chat whose messages are there, they will be assigned to them, but the user won't be able to edit them. On iOS, moving the chat history from WhatsApp is a little different. Swipe left in any of the chats, select More, and click on Export Chat. There's still an option here to move history with or without the media files, and in the end choose Telegram in the shared menu. The messenger will prompt you to move the history into the chats or groups. Besides, right in the import window you can create a completely new group and move all the messages from the chats with the person there. With this feature Telegram creates a new group with the contact from which you're importing. I want to point out that if you have different names in WhatsApp and Telegram, importing chat history will also happen differently. If you have the same names in the two messengers, then when you create a group, Telegram will send your messages on your behalf. And if you have a different name in WhatsApp, then the messages will be imported not on your behalf, but with the name that's set in the WhatsApp settings. Well, that's probably it. In just a few steps, you can move all your chat history, including media files, from WhatsApp to Telegram. And while your friends are still wondering if they should switch to Durov's Messenger, just check out the video where I explain why WhatsApp is way better than Telegram and don't forget to share it, please. And of course, like, subscribe and turn on the notifications to be the first to get new life hacks and ways to avoid being blocked. It's the Teleblog channel. Subscribe and be trendy.